when you are just starting out or you you are a new seller you don't need any of this stuff you don't need uh, like a packing you know don't need uh, any fancy printer you can go in your kitchen just take a bin bags wrap the stuff that you want to send inside the bin bag just uh, take the paper write your address go to the post office they will figure everything out as well so if you think like just to start out you need all that fancy stuff then uh, you are wrong like the way i started i just uh, used the bin bag in the beginning but over the period of time you really want to speed up your process to speed up your process and to save money at the same time you will need to understand uh how the postage work by the size and by the dimension everything i'm going to explain in this video and also uh where to buy the cheapest postage as well and what are the packing supplies are going to be the ideal uh depending on your product as well so let's get started my name is zain shall subscribe to this channel like the video okay that part is done i don't want to take long time just asking you to like just like okay okay so the first thing is going to be the printer when it comes to the printer you're going to have two choices number one thermal printer thermal printer you only will be able to sh uh, print the shipping labels and number two is going to be the a4 printers okay first let's talk about the thermal printer this is like something you basically need to print off your labels from a house so thermal printer my personal recommendation is going to go with zebra 420d's now what are the pros for the thermal printer it's a one of investment you don't need to spend the money for the cartridge you don't need to spend the money to fill the ink all those kind of stuff as well the con is going to be if you need to print some kind of documents for like uh, a a4 documents uh, you won't be able to do that because this is only going to be for the shipping label but those are very cost effective and they are very fast as well new zebra 420d is going to be around 200 to 250 pound but you can buy the used one from the ebay they last very long as well 100 to 150 pound depending on where the auction is going to end but rather than buying a cheap printer which is 20 30 pound you will you will be able to see many cheap printers on amazon ebay but trust me no matter how long i will take to explain them like those printers are not good you won't understand unless you start using those printer because somewhat you're going to need to upgrade and you're going to think okay well i wasted this 30 pound and 50 pound and then i need to spend 150 to 200 pound to buy the printer which can really do the job well done okay now the second option is going to be the a4 printer a4 printers are very good uh you do need to buy the cartridge and everything but the, you can make a lot of use out of them as well so when i need to print the the labels uh i normally use the papers like this you can buy like a pack of uh, 100 sorry pack of 500 for 25 pound uh, from ebay as well so these are you can peel them off as you can see like whole all thing look white here but th these are like you can peel them off they are 1 2 3 and 4 on one and if you need to print like a normal print or something like this uh the pack of uh, 500 white a4 printer you can buy them from asda will go 3 4 pound they are not very expensive so my recommendation and the printer which i normally use is sitting right there is hp laserdet pro m201dw okay everything which i will mention uh, I, i'm not going to share a link inside the description because you know the prices are going to be different you might need a used one you might need a, like a whatever but i'm going to put all the names inside the description and i'm not making i don't want to make like a sell you the expensive stuff i'm only recommending you the product which i have used and i know that's why i'm not really sharing a link uh, i'm not really hungry for a commission or anything like that from the affiliate or anything so that is going to be my recommendation for the printer for both of them okay now let's talk about the way i want to explain it to you by process to process okay uh, so first of all if you are shipping very small items okay so the way they actually figure out how much the postage is going to be and what postage they need to apply it going to depend on two things okay the weight of the item 
and dimension of the item. Both of them are equally important. Even though the weight is less, sometimes the dimensions, the item is really large, even though it have a less weight, then the postage is going to be expensive. If the item is really heavy, but it's very small, still the postage is going to be expensive. So both of these things are equally matters. Okay, that is out of the way. So I'm going to show you what is the packing supply to use in that case, where to buy the postage and uh, how to actually figure out what postage to apply as well. So for example, if your items are like as small as like this uh, Christmas card, you know what I mean? Small one, not very thick. And also if you put like uh, three bank cards on the top of each other and that thick and less than 100 grams, less than 100 grams, uh, I normally recommend, like personally, to figure out how much the weight for the item. Uh, you can buy many cheap, like 15 to 20 pound, uh, the weight machine from the from the eBay and Amazon. So the only thing that you need to keep in mind when buying a weight machine is like how sensitive they are and what is the maximum weight you can put on them. Uh, if you are using a machine which is probably sitting in your bathroom where you normally weigh yourself is not going to be useful in this case because if you're going to put that this envelope on that machine it's not going to detect it it's not going to be sensitive if your machine is sensitive enough can normally start from like i would recommend take something which can detect little as like one gram and then go all the way up to like uh, 10 kilo or 20 kilo depending on the items that you are shipping that is the one is going to be ideal for you the weight machine and the second thing which is like a scale uh, is a royal mill scale uh, it will uh, tell you is it going to be a letter, large letter or small parcel uh, that is going to be really, really useful as well. It's going to be just it's just going to cost you probably five to six pound. So those two things are very, very important once you are uh, you, you need to figure out. But you can like over the period of time, you do have the experience. You will be able to tell. Uh, is it going to be a latter, large letter, or small parcel, or whatever? So if it's going to be a latter, it's going to be thick as this one, okay? And uh, normally the things which I use, uh, because sometimes I, uh, sh when I ship the mobile phone to the customer, they do need a SIM card. So I put the SIM cards in this one, like, uh, and those goes in the small letters. But if you don't have a way to, the ideal way to figure out, like put three bank cards on the top of each other, and uh, they're going to become like this thick and that thickness will go inside the latter. OK, so, for example, this one is going to go inside the latter. Uh, but then the next things which comes, uh, this is all less than 100 gram. So what the next thing which is going to come is going to be the large letter. So, for example, you have a pen, you know, if you have a pen, this is going to be large letter because even though the weight is less, you have these items are really, really thick. You know what I mean? So this is going to be inside the large letter. Small parcel is uh, going to be less than two kilo or two kilo. Uh, so I, I give you ideal example. There is no much difference between large letter and small like the max of large letter and the starting of small parcel is the difference is very small so for example this mouse right here that will definitely will be a large letter because it's not too uh, like it's not too thick but this mouse right here this is going to be a small parcel because it's thick even though the weight is very equal for both of them so the best way uh, to uh, really uh, figure out is as I said the scale is going to be something which is very important and you can also take a measurement tape like a measurement tapes are not very uh, expensive you can even buy from a pound land for one pound as well so ideally for the packing supplies this is something I can recommend uh, for 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 the small la small letter which is going to be this one you can buy them from asda probably 85p uh, i buy them and these are pack of 50 
and if you are sending a large letter so the la- for the large letter is like depending on if your product is fragile then you need something which is padded which have a bubble wrap inside you can also buy those from ebay as well those are not very expensive and uh, without the 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 padding uh, that one is going to be a little bit cheaper so something like this this is ebay branded i get them for like not very free you have to have a store subscription to get these one but you get if you have a store subscription you get the uh, like a voucher you can buy uh, the branded packing supplies as well but these are useless like i these are very expensive i don't recommend uh, buying these so ideally if you don't have a store subscription you will be able to get something like like these these are like no ebay or anything written on them but these are pretty cheap as well these are going to be if you don't need like a like a padding uh thing but if you wanna uh if your your items are really fragile you wanna buy something which is uh, have like a bubble wrap inside as well so that is going to be for the large uh, small letters and large letter so let's talk about like a cheapest postage and where do you can actually buy the postage which is going to be cheaper as well so first of all once you get the order on ebay uh you can print the postage off from ebay as well and or you can link your ebay account with the the click and drop royal mail click and drop so the way, what the click and drop is it link with your ebay account anytime when you get the order on ebay it will uh, be uh, inside the click and drop where you can apply the postage on everything and then you can just print all the label in one go and then the order from the ebay will be marked as dispatch uh both of them have a similar price uh, so for the large letter and the latter royal mail is going to be the cheapest one like that's the end of story uh, there is no other company who will offer you the better price for the, your letter and large letter but if you have uh, a lot of uh, quantity as i said in the beginning like uh, about the free thermal rolls that you can get from the royal mail did i say that i don't know for the thermal printer if you have a thermal printer you will be able to get free rolls for those from a royal mail if you have a business account as well but it the price is not going to be much difference unless you have a, a good quantity so for the latter and large letter the royal mail is going to be the cheaper for the small parcel what i personally recommend that you do is you buy the postage from harmi and i know a lot of people going to say you oh, know harmi is not good they lose the parcel all those kind of things i've been using them for longer period of time and yes they do lose out but over the period of time the money that you actually save on the postage is actually worth it as well so it is going to be a personal choice because you know hermes is a bit cheaper royal mail is is, is expensive uh but i use personally hermes for the small parcel and anything which is bigger than that you can just simply go to the comparison websites like uh, parcel to go or parcel monkey there are uh, the website and i will put the the link inside the description as well so you go there you put your uh, the weight for the item dimension for the item and it compared the postage across all the platform and then you will be able to just simply print the postage from there as well so that is something which i personally recommend and about the business account you can get the business account from harmies you can get the business account from royal mail as well and you, to in order for you to save money on those you will have to have some kind of quantity to actually back those things up as well so without the quantity there 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 isn't any requirement they will ask you like if if you ship regularly if you are a ebay seller you ship uh, regularly they they might ask you if you send like a uh, 100 parcels or 100 letter large letter in the week but when once i got the account like i wasn't sending 100 but i still have it as well so then with that what you have to do is like if you have a business account you put everything inside the the bag in a gray bag which i'm going to show you in a minute uh, so the bag like this uh 
you put everything inside a, like a gray bag. Let's let's take the picture for the thumbnail at the same time here. Yeah, so you put everything inside the gray bag and you will have to either you can book the collection depending on with with the business account you can either book a collection or you can drop it to your any local post office as well and the royal mill will take it from there as well but if you don't have a business account if you print uh, like say uh, non sign for postage like if it's signed for then you have to take it to the post office if it's a non sign for even if it's a, a parcel there are the boxes like red boxes you can just drop them inside the red box and there are now the bigger boxes as well where you can just simply uh, put your small parcels as well so those are not very uh, i mean those are at many multiple locations as well so if you're printing it from ebay or if you're using click and drop then you don't really need to go post office every time you can just put in uh, in the red box unless you have a sign for postage and uh, also uh, to get the business account you just have to call the royal mails and royal mail and then you know over the phone uh, the business number is going to be there and uh, they just do the credit check and then you gonna get the invoice after uh after two weeks or in in a month depending on in, in the beginning they're going to take uh, like after two weeks and then you can do it for the monthly basis as well uh, but also the other couple of things so uh normally when i ship like a a, a letter or large letter i know that cost of packing normally i deduct it like a 10p because the envelopes like this are not very expensive like these ones or like these one or the printer and the ink everything you will have to really consider but if i have something like a small parcel where i need to use a cardboard cardboard are normally expensive so i get some card i, I don't ship many small parcels uh like where do i need a box i i ship the mobile phone then they come with the box as well so with the box i can just simply throw them inside here but uh, if i need to buy like a cardboard uh, i have them enough which i get them for free from ebay again with the store subscription or you can go to your local shop as well but if i have to buy them you can buy them from ebay as well i normally keep like a one pound uh, in my mind like the cost of packing is going to be one pound because those are very very expensive as compared to this one i mean obviously one pound is not very very expensive but as compared to these ones those are going to be a bit expensive as well so that's all about it if you have any question feel free to ask uh, in in the comments make sure you like this video all that kind of crap do that uh and uh have you noticed like i don't spend a lot of time asking you to subscribe in the video my like always the point is to go straight to the point and if you like that kind of approach like yeah and now i'm asking you to subscribe and the video is ended and make sure you check this video right here because this is the master class of if you want or somebody who don't want to deal with all these kind of things you just simply want to drop ship from amazon to ebay uh, this is the master class everything you need to know and I, I will be posting a lot more videos about the product example which you can actually use so make sure you subscribe